Okay, how's everybody doing tonight? Good? Good. It's been a while since I've been up here. I kind of just backed off for a while only because of my flesh and circumstances telling me different things, but what we've learned and through the grace message and where I'm at today is in a different place. So, so um, I just appreciate the message that God is revealing to our church and at the same time, I kind of think about it as like playing basketball, okay, like a free throw. You don't just get up to the line once and toss the ball up there and be done. you got to constantly practice at it and practice at it to be the best you can be. I'm not saying we're practicing grace. I'm saying that we're living in grace. So, so there is a difference between, between that, but in the same sense, it's the same thing. you got to hear it time after time after time. To get yourself, your uh, flesh, basically, um, subjected to what the spirit already knows. So I was off uh, work on Monday, and I was just asking the Lord. It's like, you know, I was in that place where I was hearing your voice. Everything, it, it seemed like, and everything, I was hearing him say words to me every day. Um, and I was just like, Lord, bring me back to that spot where... It's me that left. It's not him, but it's me that left. So I just opened the book of Ephesians, and I started reading some chapters. And I know we've heard these scriptures time and time again, but it was funny because I asked Suzanne today. I said, I feel like the Lord wants me to open church tonight. Do you mind if I do? I don't know Robert, Robert's uh, cell number to ask him, but do you mind if I do? She goes, yeah, that'd be great because... I'm not going to be there. And I thought, well, God works. <laughs> God works. So anyway, I'm going to read out of Ephesians, and I'm going to read out of the Amplified Bible. And it is Ephesians 1, 18 through 20. And it says, having the eyes of your heart flooded with light so that you can know and understand the hope to which he has called you and how rich is his glorious inheritance in the saints, his set-apart ones. And so that you know and understand what is the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of his power in and for us who believe, as demonstrated in the working of his mighty strength, which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. And then in Ephesians 1.23, it says which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all, for in that body lives the full measure of him who makes everything complete and who fills everything everywhere with himself. Ephesians 2, 5 through 6. Even when we were dead, slain by our own shortcomings and trespasses, he made us alive together in fellowship and in union with Christ. He gave us the very life of Christ himself, the same new life with which he quickened himself for. It is by grace, his favor and mercy, which you did not deserve, that you are saved, delivered from judgment, and made partakers of Christ's salvation. And he raised us up together with him and made us sit down together, giving us joint seating with him in heavenly sphere, by virtue of our being in Christ Jesus, the Messiah, the Anointed One. And then 2.8 says, For it is by free grace, God's unmerited favor, that you are saved, delivered from judgment, and made partakers of Christ's salvation through your faith. And this salvation is not of yourselves, of your own doing. It came not through your own striving, but it is the gift of God. And then 3.19 says that you may really come to know practically through experience for yourselves the love of Christ, which far surpasses mere knowledge without experience, that you may be filled through all your being unto all the fullness of God, may have the richest measure of the divine presence and become body wholly filled and flooded with God himself. So in three of those scriptures, he talks about being filled or having your heart flooded, that God fills everything, everywhere. And in two of those scriptures, he talked about that we are free from judgment, that we will not be uh, judged. 
So this makes it very clear to me to know that I am set free. I can walk boldly in grace that Jesus, Jesus has provided for me. That I am filled with him and he takes up all space in me. Um, and I also read twice in those scriptures that we are already seated with him in heavenly places. That we are already there. So God sees this thing as a done work. Yes. <clears throat> he sees Jesus and us seated in heavenly places. So then how do we allow the enemy to tell us we are anything less? I pretty much think being seated with Almighty God in heavenly places is the best you can be. So we just have to walk in that power of his might and tell people of his beautiful grace, mm -hmm. his beautiful love and mercy upon his saved children. God wants us to do this for his glory. So no matter the person, no matter the race, no matter the color, just tell them, tell them about our beautiful Savior that sent his son to die for us. Right. And once they call upon his name and are saved, they too will be seated in those heavenly places Amen. above all things. Amen. And then to end, God says in Ephesians 3, 20 and uh, 21, Now to him who, by in consequence of the action of his power that is at work within us, is able to carry out his purpose, and do super abundantly, far above and above all that we dare ask or think, infinitely beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, and dreams. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and forever. Amen. Amen. So anyway. So with that, anybody have any testimonies or prayer requests? Yes, James? Uh, I don't know, Tim heard about the, the big thing that happened. Um, this man was showing me some scripture downstairs, right? You remember, ask, seek, knock. Well, mm -hmm. I happened to get in front of that and sitting there, I sit there her, talking to those kids. And it, it stuck out like it's worth God. Lady in front of mine, I've known, you know, 
YouTube videos? Um, yes. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Yeah. Um, we're actually, uh, God has blessed us with the trip, plus it's our anniversary, so we'll be out Sunday through the following week. Um, we're going to Jamaica, but like you said, it's like God puts us in certain places at certain times. Who knows who we may be able to uh, witness to, so that's what I pray for, that he goes before us and um, we're able to witness and plant seeds. So. requests that have been lifted up to be answered in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. We just come to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, believing in your truth and in your word, God. We know that all things are possible through you because you've told us that time and time again, Lord. Throughout eternity, God, you say all things are possible. So we just believe right now in the name of Jesus for healing, where healing needs to take place, Lord, physically and emotionally, God, that you will touch these people, God, where they stand, God. Heal their bodies, Lord, and their minds. Thank you, God, for goodness, for the people that are traveling, Touch God. Tiffany's Have your mom. hand upon them, Lord, for protection, God. That you go before us in all things, Lord, so we know that we are safe in your realm, God. We know, God, for Tiffany's mom, Lord, who has, is fighting this leukemia, God. She's only been diagnosed, God, but your word is above all words. We say that she is healed in your name. We declare it, God, in the name of Jesus.
The Lord rebukes the devourer for my sake, and no weapon that is formed against my finances will prosper. All obstacles and hindrances to my financial prosperity are now dissolved. The Lord has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant, and Abraham's blessings are mine. I just think that, um, I don't know if we can get her that uh, health part of the words. Uh, can we get that? Yeah. But I just feel like if you take that home and you speak those words for your mom, that God will move on your behalf. So just speak those positive words over her body and heal. Okay? Amen. Go ahead. Lord, we're thankful to be here tonight. Thank you, God. To be with your people. Give glory to your magnificent name. Yes, Lord. Right. Worship team. Thank you, love, Tiffany, for bringing that up about your mama, because we're standing with you, okay? In all things, Lord, we give you glory.